Tony Ward McCarthy here bringing you your update for Junction Triangle sales in May of 2020. Um, so you've probably just watched the general GTA outlook on how things seem to be bouncing back. That tight supply is keeping our prices high, uh, even if there is a slight increase in prices. So as I always do, so here's Junction Triangle. We look at the least expensive sale and the most expensive sale. Uh, in a junction triangle for the month of May 2020. Okay, so let's kick it off. One Hugo Avenue, semi-detached, two-story, sold in six days, sold for 961. They even listed it a little bit low and it sold for 9% above asking. So yes, those days are still with us. It really depends on the property. I would suggest here's a property that was vacant. So yes, you can possibly adopt that strategy with a vacant property. You can also adopt that strategy with the real, the really, really nice home that buyers are just going to clamor over themselves just to get in there and buy it. Uh, tenanted properties, not a good idea. Okay, next, uh, there, was, there was 77 Campbell. We had seven sales in total, got quite a lot, 55 Edwin, 293 Symington Avenue, uh, 106 Edwin. Let's get to the most expensive home. Now, as I say, all of these I'm flying through right now. I just don't want to bore you with details. We do the least expensive, the most expensive. If you want to look at all of them, download the download in the section below me here. You'll have a, a link to all the charts we discuss. So here we go. One of my colleagues, act, colleagues actually at Keller Williams, 82 Campbell Avenue. So here's an example of one of these absolutely fantastic, stunning homes um, listed uh, just last week, uh, 24th of May. So two weeks ago, uh, listed at 1.3, sold in two days with a bully offer um, or preemptive offer for $1,427,000. Uh, so congrats there to that seller and uh, uh, happy buyers, I would say. Uh, so that was the least and the most expensive sale in Junction Triangle. Now, as I said last month, we're going to keep an eye on what's happening, whether we move towards a buyer's market in Junction Triangle or whether we stay in that seller's market ground. So let's have a quick look here. So immediately my eyes are drawn down here. This tells me we're still in a seller's market. Average list to sale ratio, stuff is selling for 5% above asking and selling in under two weeks. Your average price is $1,151,000. Um, this very high price was that triplex on Campbell Avenue, um, uh, up north of DuPont a bit. Um, so definitely skews the average up a bit. Um, but there you have it, folks. Uh, I said we'd keep an eye on what was going on. Uh, and as I said at the start of this, look, it looks like our window for buyers uh, is closing, if not shut already. I'm working with some buyers right now, and we are seeing um, that pent-up demand that existed and that this phenomenally tight supply uh, of, of house listings is, is, is actually keeping our prices buoyant and increasing actually in some cases. Um, so there you have it folks, Don Ward McCarthy here with Keller Williams Realty. We can sell homes in this environment. Uh, reach out and talk to us uh, if indeed you're uh, thinking of doing something like that. Okay, take care and thank you so much for your time. Stay safe everyone. Bye-bye.